my guys right today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a card using our brand new subscription box, which is number 45, and it's all about our Create a Card panel dies. So this is the box but we are going to be making uh, this card here. This is what we are going to be making using the panel dies. And do you know what? It might look quite complicated, but it's very, very simple. And it's that simple that we're going to start it off right now. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the card blanks that comes within the box. Now, this time, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be chopping a little bit off, not much, but just a little bit. So we're going to bring in our guillotine. Now, yes, it is a black card blank, but don't worry, this is in with the box as well. You've got some white and you've got some black too. Now what I'm going to do is I want to chop off two inches from the right hand side. So I'm going to pop that into my guillotine and I'm going to feed that all the way through up to the two inch mark that we can see here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop off another two inches. So if I come all the way along to two inches, so what that means is, if I fold that back on itself, so I've got a panel that's two inches, I've got a middle panel that's two inches, I don't actually need this one, and then I've got the third panel that's three inches. Now the only additional item that you will need from your own crafty stash is a piece of acetate or maybe uh, old packaging from your dies. That's what we're going to be using. And to construct it, all that I'm going to do is use my double-sided tape runner. So if I open my card blank, we're going to add a strip of adhesive down one side, and then I'm going to pop my card blank using my acetate just behind there and I'm going to press and then what I'm going to do is fold that in on itself and then because you've still got a little bit of excess acetate at the bottom here and it's harder to see but then what I'm going to do is if I take my next piece I'm going to run a strip I'm going to do two strips of adhesive and then I find it easier to turn it upon myself I'm going to match up this strip towards the right hand side of the card blank and I'm going to press and then there that gives me my card blank I'm just going to press that down a little bit more my card blank that's got that piece of acetate right within the middle and that's now good for us to start cutting our panels so I'm going to set that one to the front of me let me just move that one out the way now these panel dies these are going to go through your Gemini mini or even your Gemini go but I'm going to be using the cardstock that comes within the box now that is the black and the white because you're getting that included this time round and I'm going to go in with these now two designs within the panels and in each design you're getting an outline die and you're even getting a second outline die as well so this larger one that we can see here I'm going to cut that into a piece of white but what I want to do first is I just want to make sure that I've got the right size in so first of all I'm going to go in with my decoration and I'm actually going to do two now I've already done one so I'll explain that just in a moment or two but what we can then do is this has no outline edge and that means if I cut into my card it's going to cut into my card and stay there what I'm going to do is I'm going to include the outline die this is then going to ensure it's going to come out of the cardstock and make it a separate panel so I'm going to secure that into place so once I'm happy I'm going to pop that one on let's just get my tape at the bottom and put that one on as well. And in same plate configuration as always, we're gonna do our plastic, our magnetic, and our top plate. Feed that up to the Gemini. So Gemini Junior, large Gemini, the mini, the midi, any of them, no problem at all. And as I said at the start, that same die, what I've just done there, I'm going to cut again into black. But to save a little bit of time, I've already done that one. So we can bring it in in a moment. So if I take this one out, what we've got here is this lovely flourish of florals within the middle. So we've got the flourish within the middle, but then what we've got is we've got it's kind of like stamens or berries within these ones. So that's the white, and then I've already done exactly the same, but within the black. This is going to give me a drop shadow, so I can set that one to the side for now. And when it comes to this one, what's going to be great is your dotty tape runner. 
So if I go on the back, I'm going to add my dots all the way round, all the way down and across. And then I'm going to match it up, but I'm going to create that little drop. So just coming down, so I've brought this white die cut down maybe about a millimetre or so and also to the right hand side and that creates that little drop shadow. So let's press that one in here. So then what I can do, remember that large outside die. This is where a piece of white cardstock, I'm going to come in with my plates again. If you wanted to use your guillotine and do it, you can do, but why not just use the die? That's what it's there for. So I'm going to secure it with a bit of tape. And when it comes to the panel dies, it's always nice to add that layer at the back. It gives it that matting layer, but it makes it stand out. Plus, it gives extra rigidity to your card blanks because you've got that multitude of weight of card. So this one comes out, and then that can be the back panel. So removing that one into place. So if I take that one out, I'm going to be a little bit careful, more careful than I am. So let's take that one off. So there is my panel that I've die cut. If I was to pop that straight on, you can see how it just kind of falls into it. It doesn't do much. So what I'm doing is we have got some patterned vellums within subscription box 45. I know, patterned vellums within this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop that behind. Now this one, this vellum, what I've done is I've cut it myself just a smidge bigger than my die cut layer that we can see here. So what I can then do is if I pop that in, it just breaks it up ever so slightly. So we can start to assemble these ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my dots to the back. I'm going to place that onto my vellum like so. And because it's only about a millimetre or so bigger, that means that we get a lovely little coloured edge all the way round. I'm going to chop over to my straight tape runner. That can go onto our white layer. Now can you see how well that, that just breaks it up? It just gives it that statement, that wow, that drama. So that's one, and then what you're going to do is exactly the same again. So everything I've just done, we're doing it again. I've already done my drop shadow, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on with my dotted tape runner, and let's add our adhesive into place. This layer, when it comes to the vellum, I use the one that's got some green in it. This one, I'm using the one that's got some blue in it. So mixing and matching, and it's a nice way to just add a little bit of different contrast to your card. Add that to the back, and we can place that one onto our die. So once again, just to reiterate, what I done on this one was exactly the same on this one here. I just changed the colour of the vellum slightly, and then we can finish it off. So on the back of one vellum, I'm going to add my tape here. So let's bring it into the top there. So if I then, let's turn it, let's turn it that way. And then what I'm going to do is bring in this next one. So add our adhesive on, and then we're going to turn it that way and add it on. And what I mean by turning it is I'm just making sure that the swirl is coming down from the top left hand all the way down to the bottom right, same along the top. And see how again, just you're left with that black space. So within the middle, what I've done is I've taken the white cardstock. Once again, you're getting included in the box as well. Subscription box 45, we're giving you the white and the black card. The white card I've cut down to five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And this time I've taken one of the patterned papers that works well with the vellum. But on this occasion, I've cut this to five and a half inches by five and a half inches. We can mat and layer that onto our white card. And we can then pop that one into place here. We can then come all the way around with our additional layer here. That then can go into the middle and we're going to press that here into place. Now, if you wanted to write on here, you could do maybe with a darker pen or add another white layer if you want. That's entirely up to yourself. But now what I can do is I can bring in a couple of panels that I've already cut. 
And same with the white cardstock within the collection. I have stamped out my sentiment already. So this one says, happy birthday, stay fabulous. So for those that like to know, that has been cut to two and a quarter by one and a quarter. That's going to get layered up onto a piece of black card, which is a quarter of an inch bigger. Then we can then finish it off by layering that onto another piece of pattern paper, which is then a quarter of an inch bigger than the black layer. And then bringing in our tape runner onto the back to finish it off. That can then come into the middle and it sits just perfectly in between the acetate, but on the front, what happens is it initially, it blends into the papers on the back. It's, that's the idea, that's what you want, but it's when you lift it up, it gives it that definition look. If I was to close that, you see how the background of the sentiment, it just blends into the background of the card blank, and that's what we want, but as soon as I open that card blank, the sentiment comes into its own, stands out, and that is what you can be making using our brand new subscription box number 45, which is all about our Create a Card panel dies. Ooh.